place where. Congratulations to Ori. What is it? A few weeks ago, we actually had it where uh, you had like eleven of the tw top twelve correct, and ten of them were in the right spot. Yeah, it felt really, really freaking good. I was just like, ooh, ooh, baby. So Ori got to flex his to powers. Just be like, yeah, I seeded this. Big flex. Ultimate flex. Oh, and we got Ed's Castle. Good song, good song. All right, so it's going to be Wolf Mega Man. Now, okay, I, do you know their record? I, I uh, want to say. Very much favored in Daybreak's side. I, I would think so. I want to say Smasher's beating him at least once or twice, though. Uh, I bet there's been a few times. But I think for the most part, this has been a very one-sided towards Daybreak's favor. I can see it. Because I, I don't even know how this matchup would play it. I'm learn. I'm trying to learn about matchups, even though I've been part of the scene. But good back air. Good back air there, catching the regular getup. Daybreak got an early lead already. Now I feel like I feel like Daybreak can get a a little bit more. Away, can get away with his aggressive style a little bit more in this matchup compared to Snake. Ooh, good punish on the DP. Because Reflector, Reflector is a lot better for like Metal Blade and uh, I want to say Lemons. And more so Leaf Shield, I think. Ooh, with and the grab and Leaf the spot dash up, smash, or up tilt. There we, we saw the ref and the reflector just kind of beat out the crash bomb too. So, Wolf's reflector really good for this matchup apparently. Oh, oh definitely. But you know what's an even better tool for this matchup is gotta be that neutral air. Oh yeah. Such a good zone breaker because it allows you to just choose like which side of your opponent you want to drift on to. Yeah, but which way am I gonna cross you up? I feel like crossing up on your in the front of you. Nah, maybe not. Maybe I'll just do the back. Yeah. All right. Gets a sweet spot of the wolf flash, but only doing 16%. Fair oh. to cut. Fair to cover the mist tech. That's some good percent daybreak just racked up too. Very good percent. Oh, that was oh. Uh, that could have been such a better punish, but I think. Uh, Daybreak was really looking for just certain things in the Yomi versus Yomi matchup there, right? You're just like, man, all right. So he's just uh, with, wow, that. What? 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 What just happened? Did I, can, can you explain what just happened in those last two interactions? Honestly, I have no idea how the wolf flash hit. Same. Why did it even spark? Oh, and what, and he got why did it spark there? So when it sends you for the ping pong, you don't get like the flash up animation. All right. Uh, all right, Daybreak takes game number one. Very quick game And one. honestly, pretty convincing. So Daybreak up 1-0. Smasher trying to, it's time to choose uh counter pick here for him. I don't know what he would ban against uh, Mega. If I had to guess, um, I actually, I would probably think he'd go for his uh, usual bans. That's what, kind of what I'm thinking. I'm for, like, for his comfort bans? Oh, allowing Yoshi story through. So that definitely means Yoshi's Brawl ban. Most likely Lilac Cruise. We'll see. And no character switches from either players. We are sticking with their tried and trues. Yep. The Wolf for Daybreak. And the, the Mega, Mega Man, Man for Smasher. Two, now. One, go. Uh, Right there, right off the bat, fair trains. Fair trains for days. We 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 bring it back to Smash Four. Anyway, um, all right. I want to. That was something I didn't. See. Oh, oh! Super dead. He doubled. He doubled death him too. He doubled. That death. was just like. You're just gonna to be die, sure. You're just dying sure. from this first like hard knuckle, but I'm gonna do it again just to like make sure. Super kill you. Super make sure. Good spacing there by, by Daybreak. Seeing how uh, Smash is going to react to the Neron Shield. See what option he's going to go for. Punishing the up smash with forward smash, the Tiger Claw. And just get, trying to get some big. Oh, oh and Smasher just uh, self struck yeah, there. Yeah, he went too low, unfortunately. 
He, I, I think he fast fell on accident. I think that's what had happened. He wasn't prepared for it. Oh, I love this song. Uh, same. They're, they're just singing the airport. It's just so much positivity in this set. Yeah. I think they actually did a really good job of remixing a lot of the ocean music to make it uh, more fight-oriented. I agree. I think this is really great. I mean, this song was in Brawl. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This was a Brawl song. I forgot. And we've seen Daybreak. He had it. Oh. He tried to contest. Or he contested that down smash with up till and they won because of the super arbor. Of the, no, intangibility. Oh, is it intangible? Yeah, it's a tangible. Oh, wow. So it's just like freaking armor armor. Yeah, aqua Aquatic Tom told, told me it's a, intangible. Now I trust Aquatic's word. I would too. Shout out to Aquatic. La the, the lad oh, is a lab monster. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I he got like the sour spot of Wolf Flash. Read oh. the roll in and just up smashed him for his time. Great, great reaction to the situation by Daybreak. And once again, Daybreak is really starting to make a comeback from when he was just very much down in percent. I really like that use of the Wolf Up B. All right, Nair to come get the over the force match. Barely missed. Oh. oh, spikes him for his trouble. Smasher reversing the situation of Daybreak, unfortunately missing the spike. Sent him in a bad position to where Smasher could get his free dare and just, you know, make him die. And Daybreak Is died. Is that going to be it? Yeah, that it. That no. Is, wow, good And, I mean, this stage does not have very tall ceilings, especially when you're on the platform. You get the boost on that aspect. Ah! And we've got Gucci's beautiful screen. And we're back to not Gucci's beautiful screen. And we're back to an edge. Oh my god, oh. is he dead? Cross map. Woo. I blame Man Arbor. I, uh, you know what? That's fine. You know what? I, I, I'll vouch for it. I'll allow it. Frick Ann Arbor. Just Damn kidding. it, Nen. Yeah, frickin' Nen. Go ram it. First, Nenard. first Nen doesn't even go to VTT. He doesn't come to SFW. Now he's just screwing over And now he's Smasher. going to Canada? What the heck is this? What a joy. I agree. Those feels when Nen goes out of country before he goes 40 minutes to a tournament. Uh, a little. His prior, his that priorities. Guy. I swear. He, that person. Oh. I am. I am. King. I, is I, yelling. I, was that a Mevo King? I thought of it was. Of course. E I thought it was E Serpent. He uh, sounded like he was having a good time. Everyone's having a good time right now. Everyone's here is having a good time. And that's always good to see. We're going to Final Destination for game number three here in Losers Finals. All right, but Daybreak is up in a pretty solid 2-0, I'd say. Uh, so we'll see if Smasher gets some good adaptation or some really clutch down airs, because that's what he's been getting most of his stocks right now. <sighs> oh, Gucci, I turned off my personal hotspot because my phone's about to die. So I hope you got two hours. Rip. All right, though, we got uh, game three on Final Destination, actually. And uh, whoops, he died. Whoops. Have you ever seen the old beautiful thing called Brawl Taunts? There's a scene in there where Wolf and Fox and Falco discover how spaces can't recover. Oh, dear. And uh, he just goes, oh, whoops, I died. And that was exactly what happened there. Failed to recover because of how piss poor that up he is. is. It's got a good hitbox though, so it's not the worst thing ever. And it's got that reverse up B now, where you kill someone even if you're like nowhere even near Wolf. Good reflector on the Metal Blade. Uh, all right, punishing the Dragon Punch with forward smash, but, or down smash actually, and it didn't kill, surprisingly. And you know, all uh, set long, we've seen Daybreak make these type of comebacks too, where he's like down, he loses the first stock, builds up a, like a solid percent deficit, but he just slowly chips at it and makes a crazy comeback. And I think we're uh, in line to see it for like a third time this set. Unless Smasher can uh, make some quick stock like that happen. Woo! Woo! Now that early SD is definitely going to come back and haunt Daybreak in this, in this match at least. 
Unless he makes some crazy comeback again. And that he can. No, we see. Can. We saw it in the last two matches, so I wouldn't be shocked. Oh, no punish on the down smash, actually. Oh, barely, barely got hit by that back air. Um, all right, got that corner pressure. We, I've seen like all day. Smasher really doesn't care about being in the corner as much. No, he usually knows how to find his way out of that. No, he's super good at it. Up smash seals the deal. Now he's only down 57%. This it's is doable. a much more doable spot. And you know, Daybreak, he would love to just win this quickly with a, a 30 in the handshake, go into K-Sub and have a very possible hard time like to take two sets off of the guy who sent him down to losers. Yeah, especially how tough that especially how tough that winner set was. Oh, okay, we got an edge guard. He's got no jump too. He's gonna force the air yep, dodge. Yeah, and that's it. And he gets scooped. And Daybreak with a clutch 30. Wow. After a very, very early SD, a very whoopsie SD indeed. Able to come back from the deaths and just win it again. Yep. That's why, again, that's why Daybreak's number two.